Let's move on to the next question. So a solid rectangular block has a base which measures 2x by x centimeters. Now again, the, the one thing we have to do in this kind of question is have an idea of how it looks like because going off these kind of questions can be confusing over time or as you move on. The best thing to do is let's draw something so we know exactly what we have to deal with. So what is a solid rectangular block? So let's see, that will be something like this. So we have, we should have a shape, something like this, a block. So this, draw with this, 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 and this. So that will be an illustration of how it may look like, right? Now the side measures 2x, so this will be 2x by x. Okay, great. Now, the height of the block is y, so the height is y, great. And the volume, the volume is given to you by 72 centimeters cube, great. Now, part one, we have to express y in terms of x and show that the total surface area A is given by this. So one by one, first express y in terms of x. Now, we have to use this given information that we have here to find y in terms of x. So, volume, how would you find volume of this of this shape? It is going to be length times width times height. That will be x times 2x will be 2x squared. And times y, that should give you 72. And then y will be 72 divided by 2x squared. Simplify, 72 divided by 2, that should be 36. You will have 36 over x squared. This is part one, x in terms of y in terms of x. Now, part two, we have to find the total surface area. So TSA, total surface area. So let's see how can we find those areas. So let's, let's look at the object. So we have the base area, which is what? 2x times x will be 2x squared. But now the base and the top will be the same, so we have times two. Now plus, we have this area, which is length times width, which will be 2xy. And again, this area will be the same as the back one, so we have the times two. And then we have this area right here will be x times height will be xy, and then times two again because we have this side and this side. So in total, we have six faces, which will add up to form the TSA of this shape. Now simplify, you will have four x squared plus four xy and plus two xy, which is 4x squared plus 6xy. Now again, we have something in x here, we have, so in y here we have to change to x, y is 36 over x squared. So this will cancel out with this, so you will have 4x squared plus 36 times 6 will be 216 over the value of x. So TSA will be this value. This is again shown as required exactly and this is shown. Right. Now let's move on to the question part two. Given that x can vary, we have to find the value of x for which a has a stationary value. So now we have to know this is that whenever you see this mentioned, we are going to be finding d by dx and equating that to zero. So here in this case, we have to find dA by dx. At the stationary value, we know that dA by dx is equal to zero. So let's first find this. That will be, using this obviously, you will have what? So let's rewrite this as 4x squared plus 216. Let's bring this up. That will be x power minus one. So dA by dx of this will become 8x minus 216, x power minus two. That is also equal to 8x minus 216 over x squared, then equate that to zero. Because this is what happens at the stationary point. Let me write this down. At the stationary point, d by dx is equal to zero. So equate to zero, now let's solve. Let me uh, send this over here, you will have 8x is equal to 216 over x squared. Now we can just cross multiply, you will have 8x cubed is equal to 216, x cubed is equal to 216 divided by eight, that will be 27, so that will be x 
have to be the value of 3. So let's find out cube root of 27. Sorry. That will be this one. That will be two, 3. So here we have the now we, here we have the value of x that we need here. The value of x it is 27. So 3, sorry. That we need to find. That is part 2 of the question. Now find the value, find this stationary value and determine the nature of this value. So pretty easy. The value is a, it is when x is equal to 3. Replace back in the equation you will have 4 times 9 plus 216 divided by 3. So 4 times 9 plus 216 divided by 3. That will be 108 centimeters square for this stationary value. Now again, we want to find the nature of this value, so we have to find d2y, so d2a, sorry, by dx2. So we have to use this one, right? You will have 8 here, plus 216, so we have times 2, and that will be x power 3. That will be what? So 8 plus 216 times 2, that will be 420, 432 over x power 3. So when the value of x is 3, you can see this will be a positive value. This is all we care about here. We care about the sign of this value. Now you can write, since d2a by dx2, it is positive, we realize that a, the stationary value of a, is equal to a minimum value. Okay, and that will be it. Question uh, we have regarding differentiation and finding stationary values.